Hello friends. Today we are going to discuss about breaking bad news using Spike's model in virtual mode. I am Dr. Suresh Badadmat, Professor of Psychiatry, working at Nimans, Bangalore. Before I start my presentation, I would like to place a disclaimer. This presentation is for academic and training purpose only. This is not a substitute for professional opinion. For professional opinion, please do contact the registered medical practitioner. Conflict of interest? None. Breaking bad news using virtual spikes protocol. This pandemic has challenged the humanity. Breaking bad news traditionally occurs in person. But during this pandemic, that has become very difficult. If there is a bad news which a healthcare professional wants to communicate, calling them, giving them time in person is very challenging. Not only that, if the healthcare worker has to intimate the family about the demise of the patient, what is the protocol to be followed? Nobody knows. This is an attempt to convert this spikes model or a protocol into virtual. So in this video, I'm going to discuss about how the spikes model or the protocol can be converted into a virtual mode to communicate bad news and discuss objectives and steps of this spikes protocol. The objective of the spikes protocol, I would like to call it as I spikes. The reason being, I will let you know in a short while. The first and the foremost objective is gathering the information, transmitting the medical information which is required to be communicated to the patient or to the family member, providing support to the patient and the family member, collaborating with the patient and or the family member. So these are the four objectives need to be kept in mind when you are breaking the bad news, specifically using Spikes protocol. Here in Spikes protocol, I have made it I Spikes protocol. The I stands for inspection. It is basically inspection of the instruments used for virtual mode. S yes stands for the same setting up the interview and the P stands for perception of the bad news by the patient or the family members. And I start for obtaining the patient's invitation or the family member to discuss. K stands for giving knowledge and information to the patient or the family members. And E stands for addressing emotion with empathetic response. And S stands for summarizing the session. The whole protocol of SPICE has to be delivered virtually now. This is because of pandemic. As I mentioned, traditionally we break the bad news in person, having a right space, right time, involving multiple family members, involving multiple team members, one to one and providing information and it may take 20 to 30 minutes, sometimes 45 minutes. But this pandemic has snatched that luxury of providing such a important session to be provided for breaking bad news. Unfortunately, that is not available. We need to get adapted to virtual model. Let's discuss how we can adopt this. First, I spikes. I means inspection before virtual meet. Check all the equipments. Central placement of the camera is essential. And also, the monitor should be at the level of the camera so that when you talk, you have to look into the camera, not into the monitor. Otherwise, the eye contact will not be made. Hence, learn how to look at the camera and speak. Lighting is very essential and also have internet connection, which is at least 2 Mbps per second to have a very good video consultation. Before you start, do a dry run. That is basically trial run. Or else you can call it as a test run. You need to be in professional attire. If you are alone in the room, avoid mask and PPE. If you are multiple members, in the same room, avoiding or breaking the bad news, of course, you have to wear mask. But considering that we have various 
virtual meets software you can have multiple logins that means nests from the same hospital two or three or four healthcare team members can log in from various other terminals to the patient or the patient family members and again from the family side multiple people can log in and make sure the significant others which are on the side of the family members should be identified and a consent has to be taken from the primary caregivers that is the primary family members at the same time you also should make sure the healthcare providers on your side should be part of your team and know about the patient at the same time before you start the meet have a alternative number so that if there is any communication breakdown occurs you can use the alternative phone number to contact them and to reschedule or else to reinitiate the conversation through virtually the six steps which is the classical spikes model goes through like this yes for setting up the interview perception invitation knowledge empathy and summary so first i has been over now the rest six goes similarly setting up the interview through by login mode through virtually you have to transmit the link and check with the phone call whether they have received the link either by through whatsapp or else various other software or through email or even it can be sms message and talk to the primary caregiver that is either the parents or the spouse who are the other members they would like to invite so it would be best they themselves transmit that message to their family members once they have transmitted fix the time appointment and a discussion can be set up the privacy should be maintained before starting the actual discussion ask them to introduce themselves and also you need to introduce yourself and also make sure that the time and the time available can be put forward before in hand at the same time have the medical records with you and it would be prudent to go through the medical records before the meeting start and please don't forget to know the patients and the other parties identity before the meet starts assessing the perception that means talk to the family members and ask them what do they think about the patient condition or else what is the patient condition and how he may be what would have been happened and also check what is their understanding of the prognosis of the illness that means you are slow, slowly giving an indication about the probable bad news which is going to be given to them further ask the family members what they know how much they know and what may be the prognosis as per their knowledge because invariably patient and the patient family members would have done their homework by going through the internet googling and also various other search engines so they would have known to some extent obtain the patients and the family's invitation ask them how much they would like to know how the care was happening what was the last moments and would they like to know about all those things at the same time check the family member who was in contact with the treating team ask him to speak and invite him to tell what he knows how the process was happened and what is his experience with the healthcare provider at the same time how much he has interacted and at the same time correct him if there is a mistakes but at the same time when you correct him it should be very gentle at the same and with all these things you have to be very careful you are being on virtual mode choose your words appropriately prepare before in hand when you are going to talk to the family members with regard to breaking the bad news now the fourth step is sharing the information share the information with regard to investigation diagnosis treatment and prognosis again before you share is better to take a consent again it may be informal verbal consent and this time when you are sharing the information avoid medical terms make it simple if you are have to give a medical words explain it clarify their doubts with regard to medical information what they have have doubts at the same time when you are communicating regard regarding the death of the patient use straightforward 
monotonous, simple language like you are loved one Mr. X died today morning at this time. Avoid phrases like he passed on, he passed away or else no more. Such words creates confusion and it creates more trouble to the family members. Giving a straightforward simple message is essential. At this point of time when they hear the bad news, please know about the grief process. First and the foremost it may be shock, denial, anger, bargaining, depression and acceptance. This is the Kubler-Ross grief process. If you know that, you can you will be able to know at what stage the family members are going through the grief. If it is expected death and if it is unexpected death. Of course, in unexpected death, shock and denial will be the usual way. But in expected death, the family may be at the anger or may be in the depression phase. If you know this process, it is easy to handle the family members. Allow the family members to express their emotion. Allow them to ventilate. Do not curtail the expression of emotion because it is a ventilation session. If you are finding yourself overwhelmed, you can take a break. Tell the family members, I'll be joining in a short while. I have to take a break because of the emotions. And I'm giving you time to discuss among yourself. At the same time, you can also say that I would like to give you a break. Your family moment to discuss among yourself and I'll be joining shortly. Enquire about the emotions. It's very essential. Do not quit the, in, the login session without informing them. Even if you're quitting, Please mention them, you move out, let the family continue the virtual discussion. And finally, summarization is very essential. Summarize the discussion, allow to ask any question, clarify their doubts. Would they like to say something about the patient care and also anything we need to improve ourselves and also plan for the next follow up. At the same time, make sure your team members call them within two or three days to know how they are doing. This is very essential to have a collaborative work in the future, in the near future. At last, you are also human being. Check your own emotions. At the same time, talk to your team members because if there is a death of a patient, even the team members morale will be down. Discussing and debriefing plays a crucial role from the team members, team leaders perspective. To conclude, my dear friends, help the family to deal with the grief. This pandemic has been a big challenge, not only to the general population, but also to the healthcare professionals, especially when you are breaking the bad news. And in this pandemic, using the virtual mode to give information regarding the death or else the prognosis of the patient becomes inevitable. If you find the family members are highly distressed, you can offer them counseling. And please do remember, there is virtual mode is a boon, but, at, but it has its own limitation. Keep this in mind and break the bad news. Thank you very much for giving your valuable time. Stay safe.